This toy stand is at the highest level of the pole machine. The blue cap was designed by a ping pong ball, which is our starting action. As you may see, we attach the bolt on the toy car to increase the masses of the moving object. Go. Okay, our first action was we were supposed to put the Monsters University hat onto Mike. We would do that, which would, and we, this button would press down right here, which would trigger the car with the bolt on it to go down the ramp. This white cup is taped on the table so that it will not move around when the car passes through the track. Hit over. Dean Hardscrabble Scare Can. We use the tall wood piece to characterize as the Dean Hardscrabble Scare Can. It is tall and skinny, so the car can easily push it down. Which would then trigger the football to go down the ramp. There are two steel L-shaped plates. We use them as a football rolling track. There are two wood blocks that we use to increase the height of the incline. Hit the textbook. Under the textbook, we added two popsicle sticks to make it unstably standing. When the football comes down from the track, it will be easier to push down the textbook. Which we had to catch so it didn't get scratched on here. The textbook has to be in the ideal angle to press down the handheld ball pump. We seal the ball pump on the table so then the textbook will not scratch nor break. The textbook would then press down on this pump to inflate the glow. The bearing ball is located on the balloon, so then it will stay still until the action starts. We use pieces of wood sticks and toy car track to build another incline for the bearing ball to travel. From art, when he touches a lot of singing glow and swells up, the balloon will swell up, which will cause the ball to roll down this ramp. The white pipe is used to change the direction of the bearing ball. Throw the pipe down and hit this wall. The ball coming down the track will hit the square made of popsicle sticks. The square popsicle stick has popsicle sticks coming out of it on both sides and in the middle to hit Mike, Sully, and the ball. The Mike and Sully will fall down the treadmills with a small push and the ball will start moving down the trail. The trail at this point is inclined by two thin pieces of wood. This ball, to roll down this inclined ramp, all the way there are two blocks put beside the track to hold it in place so that the track does not tip over. Until the ball falls off the edge. After some tryout, we made some critical fix on this track. As you see, there is a postal stick underneath the white track. The main purpose of this fix is to slow down the bearing ball's acceleration. It will prevent the bearing balls from jumping off the spring bunk bed. It goes onto the bunk bed, which will demonstrate that um, Sully sheds his bunk bed. We taped the bunk bed on the track so it will not move around when the bearing ball reach on it. Two pieces of wood balls are designed to guide the bearing balls to the right direction. The ball will then be trapped and travel down the tin maze. We designed the MSHA Evershaw's track. At the first row and the edges, we installed an extra plate to prevent the bearing balls from falling out of the track. At the end, it will go through the Pringles can. The ball will go down a Pringles can and hit Miss Scribble, causing her to dance. This motion of movement creates dominoes to fall over. The last domino hits the green ball, which is on the wooden track that is inclined by a wooden block. This incline allows the ball to roll down the track. And the ball to roll down, making the other dominoes fall to this ramp. The last domino is put on a wooden surface. This makes it to be on the same level as a trail that is on an incline. Which ultimately leads down this other ball to the ramp. In the end, the last domino has a heavy ball on the end, which will trigger the pump to go on. The pump releases a paper tube from air cannon. This represents librarian kicking a screen games competitor out of the library. Which that trigger will shoot him and blow up a, full, a room full of scare cats.